Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, That Girl Vani. I have been MIA for a really, really long time because of the holidays. I did mention that in the video that bear with me, the holidays are coming up. We had Christmas and we had New Year's. I was taking the time out to celebrate with my family as well as my loved ones and now I'm back and we are back to business. This video is gonna be dedicated to 2021 New Year super super excited i have been doing some reflecting myself and i was really trying to figure out what kind of video that i want to give you guys going into the new year this first video that i'm posting of 2021 is going to be how to be more motivated in 2021 going to 2020 to 2021 i myself noticed something that I struggle with and I wanted to bring that forward on my platform and see if maybe my viewers struggle with it as well. And that was staying motivated, staying focused, staying in tune with what exactly I wanna do. One major, major thing that I wanna start off with is writing. Writing stuff down really, really helped me kinda hone in on my purpose and what it is that I wanted to do. That being said, it's 2021, get y'all a planner, get y'all a journal, I'm gonna keep constantly saying these things on my platform, like my IG platform and the content that I create because it's so important that we not only say things, we're writing things down. The most important thing going into 2021, that's the first one, is we need to start having our positive affirmations. We need to start writing down our thoughts, our feelings, our desires, and we need to start the morning off more positive. When you start off on, on a positive note, it kind of makes it really, really tough to have a bad day because you started off so positive. Things do happen at work, things do happen throughout the day, but if we set our minds to that positive affirmation, and for example, when I say positive affirmation, I get up and I, I think of love. I think that I was made out of love. I don't have to come from a hateful place. I don't have to come from an angry place. And that really helps me with what I do and how, and how I work with my kids that I work with at work. But I have to remind myself that I'm loved and I don't have to be in a hateful place and, and have such rage when, I, when I'm teaching them or when I'm um, leading whatever it is that I lead. I don't like to lead from a hateful place. I don't wanna lead from a negative outward emotion. So starting our day off positive will do great things for us. Second most important thing to stay motivated and stay focused in 2021 will be you ought to create some sort of grand rising ritual. And I say this, I said this in my last video. I think I mentioned in my last video about waking up and, and setting something that you're not being on your phone and you're not starting off negatively. So what that looks like for me, I, I know I said on the last video, but I'll just say it again for those new viewers. I wake up in the morning, I go to the gym, I do my bed, and this is the same every day. So we get our mind, you know, besides the weekends, but Monday through Friday, we get our mindset prepared for what we need to do and, and how we need to run our mornings. The longer that you go with this flow, the easier it'll be. It'll kind of become second nature to you. You wake up, you do exactly what you need to do because your brain is wired that way and you've created this routine for yourself and that you're not going to be able to stray from that. And that brings me to my third thing to stay motivated. We kind of got to fake it till we make it. It's so hard. I know it is. I actually don't like faking things. I feel like it's not going to come from a genuine place. But after reading this portion about you know, faking it until we make it and meditating on it, you almost kind of become it. If, if you force it so much, you're gonna become it. So there is times where I do have to force my happiness and I have to smile and I have to remember to breathe and take that, that time to let everything go because that'll help us stay motivated, that'll help us stay in tune with our whatever goal that we're trying to set, whatever we're trying to do in that moment. So that brings me to my fourth point, of doing little things right and, and completing those little tasks because sometimes we have these big tasks we get so overwhelmed with this big project we have or we get so overwhelmed with the idea of even completing like a homework assignment or um a at work assignment or what have you but a lot of times sometimes we just need to kind of set a small list 
for us to do within that big project. So what I mean by that is say, you know, homework wise for those that are in school like me, I know that I may have like a big portfolio due, like a seven or five, five to seven page portfolio. Instead of waiting that last minute or that last second to work on that project, I can sort of break it down into smaller projects. So that way I'm doing maybe one page a week or something like that, or I'm doing maybe two pages in a month. So you kind of have to break it down to smaller projects that you can work on little by little and you can kind of keep up with your achievements. So that brings me to point five, which is keeping track of our achievements and, and keeping that up here because a lot of times when, when people do become unmotivated or they do get off track or they derail, it is because they get so upset or they harp on, well, I didn't do this or I didn't do this right. But it's like, well, look at what you did do right. Look at what you did accomplish. And that's why the, the small projects and doing those small little projects like that will kind of help keep you motivated and keep that positivity kind of um, accumulating so that we can continue to build on it. Hopefully strive to complete what whatever task it is that you have at hand. And which brings me to my sixth point is to unplug. Okay, unplug in the morning. Okay, notice my grand ritual had nothing about a cell phone, nothing about texting, nothing about getting on IG, as well as at night. I unplug when I get home from work. I walk my dog. I come in, I kind of, I write something or I'll read something. Sometimes I do get on the phone and I yap yap to someone, but there is usually a time where I'm spending time away from my devices, away from emails, especially those that work from home. It's very hard to kind of organize our lives when work is at home and home is home, right? Creating that spot where you're just like, hey, this is where I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna unplug from everything. I'm gonna put my computer, my work bag on the counter, put my phone on the counter, and I'm gonna sit here and do whatever it is that I need to accomplish. Number seven, to compare you with you. Don't compare to anyone else because comparison is a thief of joy. You're not gonna find any type of joy comparing with the next person or comparing with um, Billy Bob Joe up the street. What I'm basically saying is that continuously aiming to be a better you, continuously shaping yourself and morphing yourself to be a better version of yourself. What I do is that I try to be better at something than I was yesterday. And that you will always constantly find yourself working on something so that your mind doesn't become obsolete. A lot of times when people get these mundane routines and these regular kind of habitual activities that we do every day, sometimes we need that wake up call and we need that change. And that is what can create that change. Which brings me to my eighth point is it's okay to do something out of the ordinary. I promise you it is. If it, especially if it's something that is not dealing with what exactly we're working on. Like for me, I'm studying to be a counselor, but if I want to go out and I don't know, go thrifting, I'm not a, a vintage seller. I'm not a, a boutique designer or what have you. But if I want to go and do something that strays from my original goal and my original project, it's okay. Allow yourself downtime, allow yourself a day to recoup and re regenerate new ideas, relax and unwind. A lot of times I used to get so so hard on myself about reading something every day or doing, doing uh, I don't know, psychological theories and all this and, but sometimes it's okay, like take a minute, breathe, take a day, take a two, take a day, take a two, take a day or two and really just refocus and regain new ways to care about yourself and, and self-care. Self-care is so important when we're trying to stay motivated and we're trying to accomplish these things that we want out of life. So don't forget to take care of yourself. I believe I've touched on everything. Yes, I touched on everything. I like to take notes as y'all know. But thank you so much again for tuning in today. I hope that this video will really help a lot of you all with your new goals, your resolutions that you're working on. Um, be sure to catch my Instagram at that girl Vani. I go live every Tuesdays. Uh, I try to post each video every Friday, if not a holiday. And I look forward to growing with you all. Please feel free to comment. Please feel free to reach out to my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, even my Facebook. So as always, don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend.
that is all for today i will see you guys next time on my next video and yeah thank you so much bye